Imagine entering a room with 150 dice on a table and all of them showing the number 6. You would immediately assume that something is wrong with those dice. They've not been thrown at random because it's very improbable that they would land just like that. The same puzzle is being faced by cosmologists as they try to figure out why is it that certain constants of nature, among them the cosmological constant lambda, take on the value they do in our universe. The, the value of lambda is very, very small, and it's thought to be uh, responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe. However, we don't understand why it is that it is so small and yet non-zero. There is more. If we change the small value of lambda by just a little bit, in other words, if we change the uh, the outcome of one of the dice by just, by just a little bit, the universe as we know it would not exist. It would be a very different universe in which we, as human beings, would not be able to thrive. So why is it that we live in such an, an improbably fine, finely tuned universe? One possible answer comes from th string theory, which postulates that we're actually part of a much grander reality called the multiverse, in which different universes coexist, up to 10 to the 500 of them, all of them with different values of the cosmological constant. And so only those universes which have a value of the cosmological constant that's just right for us will be the ones in which we, as human beings, can possibly live. And therefore, all of the other universes are impossibilities, and we are left to live in the one improbably fine-tuned universe that we observe. That is the anthropic principle.